Hi there, let's have a look at a really interesting historic way of representing numbers, Roman numerals. Have a go at answering this question, written in the style of the 11 plus mathematics exam. That's the exam that UK students take if they want to get into selective grammar schools or other selective high schools. They get less than a minute on average to answer each question. Feel free to pause the video here and attempt the question. Then we'll go through two important principles we need to know in order to master our understanding of Roman numerals. OK, so as we mentioned, there are two important principles for understanding how Roman numerals work. First, we need to know that instead of using the Hindu Arabic numbers with the digits 0 to 9, Roman numerals use carefully ordered lists of Latin letters to represent numbers. Here is a table showing the most commonly used Roman numerals today. We can see I represents 1, V represents 5, X represents 10, and so on. Next, we need to know that to convert a number written using Roman numerals to its Hindu Arabic equivalent, we work from left to right through each letter, adding or subtracting the values they represent. If a letter comes before one of the same or lower value, then we add it, but if it's just before one of a higher value, then we subtract it. And the last letter, we always add. So, for example, let's take the number CDLXXV from the question. A table shows us that C represents 100, D represents 500, L is 50, X is 10, so there are two 10s, and V is 5. Now because the C representing 100 comes right before the D representing 500 in our number, then this smaller value is actually subtracted. The rest of the values get smaller or stay the same as we move from left to right through the letters, so they're all added together to give our final value. We find the number by calculating minus 100 plus 500 plus 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5, and this is 475. Doing the same process with the number XIV, we find that it represents 10 minus 1 plus 5, which is 14. So CDLXXV minus XIV is the Roman numerals equivalent of 475 minus 14, which is equal to 461. To write 461 in Roman numerals, we can simply split it up into segments. Let's start with the largest part, 400. 400, as we saw earlier, can be written as CD, which is minus 100 plus 500. As a bit of an aside, you might think that 400 should be written as CCCC, and that does make a lot of sense. But there's a convention in Roman numerals that you should only have up to three of the same letter in a row. If you want to represent 4, 40, or 400, then you switch to the subtraction method. Use IV instead of IIII for 4, XL instead of XXXX for 40, and CD instead of CCCC for 400. Similarly, we use IX instead of VIIII for 9, XC instead of LXXXX for 90, and CM instead of DCCCC for 900. The idea is that it uses fewer letters, so it's shorter to write. People do tend to follow this convention, but there's a strange exception. Often, when you see Roman numerals on a clock face, they use IIII to represent 4 rather than IV, possibly because it provides more balance to the VIII, 8, on the other side. But they'll probably stick to IX rather than VIIII to represent 9. But we're getting distracted. Back to the problem. As we said, the 400 part of 461 is CD. Now let's look at the 60 part. Well, we know that L is 50 and X is 10, so the 60 part can be written as LX. And finally, the 1 is simply I. So the full representation of the number 461 is CDLXI. Now that was quite a lot of work, and you don't get much time to answer 11 plus maths questions in the exam. Can you think of a quicker way to tackle this question? Let us know in the comments below. This type of question, where we need to correctly interpret Roman numerals, is commonly seen in the UK 11 plus mathematics exam. Primary school students in the UK that are looking to join a selective high school or grammar school will often have to sit this exam as part of their admissions process. If you're planning to take the 11 plus, then check out NAGWA classes, the affordable and effective way to prepare. We offer online tutoring with expert teachers, practice questions in the style of the 11 plus, and a chat function to ask questions between live sessions. Check out the link in the description to attend a free trial session today. And if you enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.